Today we're gonna make a cocktail recipe from the 1950s called the zombie. It's not the first zombie we ever made, probably won't be the last zombie we ever made, but it's different than other zombies. Stay tuned to understand exactly why. Welcome to Tom and Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schober. That's Ian Andrews. We're making for you guys the 1950s version of the zombie. We've made zombies before. We've made zombies. This is a different version. There's at, there's at least six versions. <laughs> at least. No, uh, but there's six versions coming from just Don Beach. That it's, doesn't include everybody who's invented shit since then. Jesus, Don. I know. And we'll explain why in just a short few moments. Do you want to talk about what's in the drink while I make it? I'm going to do that. Okay. I just can't see it because there's so many freaking There's a ingredients. lot of things in this drink. That's the problem. We're going to use uh, Lemon Heart. Oh, you got that. Lemon Heart 151. As we learned in a previous episode, Lemon Heart doesn't always get a good substitution when you're working with um, uh, Hamilton. Hamilton 151. You could try it. Might not be right. Um, but we like I know, Hamilton. I know Jeff Beach Bumberry, who documented this recipe, also said Eldorado 151 didn't work for this recipe. So hmm. I'm going to guess Lemon Heart's probably your best. If you don't have it, you work with what you have. Um, so it's going to be one ounce of Lemon Heart, one ounce of gold Puerto Rican rum, one ounce of light Puerto Rican rum. If you don't have Puerto Rican rum, don't fret. Use a light rum and a goldish rum from your favorite area. I'm using Don Q. Because, which is a Puerto uh, Rican the, rum. There's a gold and a clear. Uh, Over 70% of the market in Puerto Rico for just Don Q. So you probably will be able to find it uh, even locally. That's the, the, Our Don Q is running low. I'm going to talk to Don Q and see if they'll send us some more. That'd be cool. Because I can only buy a handle. and <laughs> It's a little obnoxious. Uh, it's, a handle's like 9 or $10 or something. Um, an ounce of lime juice. It's on the bottom shelf too, which pisses me off, because the donkey is not any different than Bacardi, but Bacardi's like up at the top. Uh, an ounce of lime juice, ounce of lemon juice. So you get a lemon lime blend here. Uh, an ounce of pineapple juice, an ounce of passion fruit juice, not a puree in this case. Uh, a, a teaspoon, which is a bar spoon around here someplace. Oh, I already got it. Okay, of of a demerara. Syrup. If you want to make a demerara syrup, use some turbinado sugar or demerara sugar from like, which one is the D? Domino. 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 Uh, they have one. It's like a it's a molasses sugar. Um, or you can buy BG Reynolds Rich Demerara from AwesomeDrinks.com. Obviously, that would be your first choice to make. Or Eli Mason. Or Eli Mason Rich Demerara, or just Demerara, or whatever. Or you can get a spice demerara, add a little Christmas hint to it, which I'm sure if uh, Don Beach was alive would love. And that would be the Cocktail and Sons version, all at awesomegrace.com. Lastly, a dash of strawberry bitters. So that, my which friends. you're going to have to pass because that's over there. Fuck. And a mint sprig if you had one, which I bought specifically for this recipe, but I don't feel like getting, so I'll find any new use for it. What do you need now? Just the mango. Oh, yeah. Have some mango. Thanks. Nice Not to be confused with mango. Dish. All right, we're gonna shake it. Oh, crushed ice! Shit! I'm gonna catch up before he's he's beat me. I'm sure. You I don't know where up. the ice tongs went. Thanks, Ian. They're so uh, I will do. I don't know either. I will do. The, oh wait, no. Right I think the underpants gnomes took them. No, I remember clacking them when he was upstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, Thanks for blaming it on me. Hey, you know what? That's what I do. That's my thing. We're gonna. Are we gonna crush ice that thing too? Or Probably. it's just a dump. I don't really. So we're gonna shake with the crushed ice, and we're gonna dump it. Yeah. And maybe we want to add crushed ice to top. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, you do. Why not? I'm gonna hurt my to my fingers. Crush ice. What? So that's how you crush it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. He and his dad sent us that. Right. So this, he was here this one is a time. Zombie and we were out there in the garage, and he's probably. like, "Oh, I'll send you." I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Zombie <laughs> so without. Put like the CMC on it and everything. No. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. So. Um, a little history on this in a second. This doesn't have absinthe, so you can get away from having to worry about that. Um, it doesn't have a lot of things actually. It doesn't use Don's mix. Wow, that's awesome. Good shot. Um, so. Hey man. Nice shot. Nice shot. Filter. Um, uh, a little bit more ice. Did I call it right? Is that the right fan? No one saw that. Ian, don't worry. Nope. I didn't think so. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> There it is, there. It's all about <laughs> I seen that on the video when I re-edited it. But you can't yell at me now. I'll text you over on Facebook. Okay. I've done that before. It's true. <laughs> Hold on. That was expensive. Maker. <laughs> I don't like when like expensive shit starts to fall. Hey now! 
out. Let me pour this in and then oh. you can pop it. Because oh. I don't know how much space it's going to take up. It's going to take all the space I want. See, look it. at that. You're pouring all that ice and... What are we left with? Oh, we're left Damn with it. attitude. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm working on my attitude. You gotta, you gotta work on it. Trying that. to be an ass. Right, you're gonna need to ass harder. Wait. What? <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah. Thanks, Jared. No problem. That's an awesome idea. <laughs> That's why you bar, bar, what do you call those things? Backs. That's why you have a heavy duty rail mat available at AustinDrakes.com. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now um. put straws in. <laughs> Move it over a bit. So I don't get it! <laughs> <laughs> Judo chop! <laughs> Sorry, was, I, for some reason, instinctually, was trying to numb your arm. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's a fruit fly right there. Move it over. There's a fruit fly? Yeah. Are That's you kidding protein. me? I killed all those. That is a fruit fly. Where did that come from? Move it over the drink. a bit. Yeah, but where did it come from? Yeah. Keep going. Oh, high far. Right, we'll go with this. Good. I don't know. Find out. Ah! There's that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Dickle. Schmur. Schmurdy bird. Oh my god. Birdie schmur. <laughs> ah, the <de> mock. <laughs> Someplace. What the fuck was that? An outtake. How about a highlight reel? That's what it was. Well, it's the same thing. It goes to the same place. You got pants on your I mean, you can't get any pants. What? Uh, Why is there so much stuff? Oh, that's not that was spilled. Penis. That's packing it. <laughs> you know what Jim Mock is, right? The death touch? <laughs> so I'm like, why is he speaking Klingon? Right? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Klingon? Klingon. It's a Star Trek thing, but that wasn't Klingon, no, so don't worry. No, it just sounded like it was Klingon. <laughs> Who's Chinese? It's okay. I don't know Chinese, but I know Klingon. I was thinking of what they say when they when they get on the... There's something they say when you get on the... I, I, I feel your pain. Yeah. That is puckery. Yes. So, this was submitted by Christopher Moland. Did I say that right? You, you put this book. As a survey. As a survey, one of our survey guys, one of the folks that committed, submitted, committed, committed, committed our committed. survey results. <laughs> committed and, a survey crime. So we're doing shout outs to those people, which we'll do here. Uh, we're also doing their cocktails as requested by them. If they request them. And Everybody if they has. make a cocktail that doesn't require me to fucking do gymnastics to make it. <laughs> fucking edible flowers. Um, the only thing we're easy here. whipper. <laughs> you have um, edible flowers. They're called hibiscus. Oh, but I think it means like those flowery... Hey, edible flowers just mean something you can eat. <laughs> Fair enough. So, a little history lesson for y'all. Mm. We want to go through the tasting and then we'll do the history second. Mm. This tastes it, like it has grapefruit juice, but it doesn't. It's the lemon and lime, an ounce of lemon and lime. It's puckery sour. Isn't like, a zombie supposed to have grapefruit? It's supposed to have I absinthe, but there's no absinthe in this one. No. I, it, there, there is, there is, there may be some that have grapefruit as well. I'm not being my tie though. This is definitely um, tiki, obviously. Yes, it has. <laughs> not just because of the tiki godhead. It, it doesn't have a... Off, .com, but it's just... Right, this? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of CMC, WSKY, 15% off until... October 9th, 2015. <laughs> it's a rum... <laughs> a good rum cocktail. It has the 151 electricity burn, to it. Yeah. Um, it's got some citrus pucker... I would, I would think in this case, if, if you, I don't know, I feel like you could substitute uh, any of the 151s for this, but I don't know. He did say it's different. I'm going to agree. I'm going to assume Jeff Barry knows what you're talking about. It's puckery. There's a, a large level of, of citrus in here. There's two ounces of citrus. So the end is dry, puckery bite. But I like it. It makes you, it's another one of those drinks that makes you want to sip again. Because yeah. it's sweet up front, it's like a mullet, right? It's, got, it's like a cocktail mullet. It's sweet in the front, dry in the back. It's like the opposite of mullet. It's yeah, it's party in the, in the back. It's like a yeah. scullet. Yeah. This is the party up front and the business in the back. Mm. Yeah. And they have no hair in this front. This is like the goth emo bangs with a shaved head. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that, right? No. They have like the big hair coming yeah, down and then they're like that. shaved. Yeah, that's old though. Yeah. That, that was not from like that mid-90s. Well. Molds are old too. No, yeah, yeah sure. Molds are even older. I, I guess, I guess, for some reason, qualifying the age of what I was thinking didn't make any sense considering we're talking molds to start with. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up uh, 
<laughs> you, you get the pineapple. <laughs> you get passion fruit. I get a little bit of passion fruit. But yeah, there's I, a, I get, the bite comes in real quick. The, the bite is in there. Yeah. I, I don't. It's know. good though. So, if you're wondering why why would we make a zombie up a gazillion times, and why would I call this a 1950s Don Beach? What I did in this recipe for Christopher is I transferred out what he originally wrote was two teaspoons of brown sugar, and I replaced it by going through the 1950s version of this that. Um, Jeff Berry documented, which called for one teaspoon of demerara, which makes more right. sense than brown sugar. Yeah. Um, so I said, let's go with the demerara syrup. It's also a little simpler, I think, and it doesn't, it won't sink, sink because it's a, already a syrup, so you don't have to worry about it being suspended. Um, it it's takes also a long shaking it to integrate it. Right. And now the zombie itself, the reason why you have to have so many recipes is is, is fourfold. First, uh, yeah, Whoa. it's like a vulva. So first. <laughs> sexual reference. <laughs> uh, for, In case you didn't get it. Yeah. So the <laughs> the the first thing is <laughs> this is more this is what started Tiki. Before the zombie, was Tiki, no Tiki wasn't a thing. Um, I'll put the original recipe at the end. Unfortunately, we forgot grenadine in the original recipe, which is. A, Devastating because I wanted to make it as original as possible. Oh, is there grenadine in this? No, no, the original, oh, the original the one we did okay. with Curtis. Gotcha. Um, so there's a teaspoon of grenadine, whatever. You can put that in there. But that recipe is the original. This recipe was documented actually prior, even though the other was a 1930 recipe. Mm -hmm. The 1950s recipe was figured out first. And okay. so it starts the tiki craze, the zombie did, not necessarily this specific recipe. Until the Mai Tai came along with Trader Vic, this was the recipe to create. Because um, it was scary and mysterious and nobody knew how to create it, which is why there were so many variants. What? I don't know what he said. Um, so this is attributed to Don Beach. This specific recipe is uh, Louis Spie Spivak, I believe is his name, created a book in the 1950s called Barbecue Chef. Barbecue Chef featured this specific recipe. Now, when I say there's six documented, these are the ones that Jeff Beach found. Okay. Out of these, this recipe, the theory is that Don Beach didn't like to give away his secret recipes, right? So in order to first off make it simpler. There's he, a reason they're secret. Right, exactly. So to make it simpler, get rid of Don's mixes and all the other, and the cinnamon simple syrups, he, he made a simpler recipe for the book, which involved a lot less rich simple syrup. That's probably the most exotic mm. recipe, exotic thing found in here besides this, the cocktails. Pa passion fruit, yeah. Yeah, passion fruit's up there, but you can usually get passion fruit. So he, the, the theory is he created this recipe to present in this book because it was very much um, e easier to create and it left that e that mysterious, hey, how come this doesn't taste like the ones at, at, at uh, Don Beach's restaurant, hmm. right? It me meant he can hold the original recipe longer and nobody would know. Gotcha. So there there is there was both a, the idea of, of giving something people can make easier and, and not giving the original one, okay. which also is why there's so many variants. He would create new variants over time, anyway, as he perfected it, because he would continue to... It's like counterintelligence. In, in one way, it's, it's right. both... You're, yeah, you're, uh, you're bad spreading out bad information yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Then, he's also trying to perfect it over the years. Mm -hmm. So a lot of his recipes got different as he Learned grew, and, grew and, and as he changed recipes and, and times changed, and he just kept calling it the zombie or whatever his drink was. He would just keep the name the same and alter the recipe. So depending on who was bartending at the time, if they snuck and found the recipe... Mm. That was the recipe they documented, Wouldn't but they have it wasn't to know the it if they were bartending. No, because Don Beach would hide the recipe by putting them in generic bottles, like Don's Mix Number Two, Don's Mix Number Five. Oh, he just mixed it all, and they just yeah. Poured they it. have no idea what was in it. Another company was creating the Don's Mix. They knew the components of what was in the mix, but they didn't know the recipe. Uh, so they only had that, which is how he got the original recipe back by finding all the books to who created the original... Private key, public key encryption. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right, Jen? <laughs> totally. So yeah. he had to go find the people who created the mixes <laughs> to figure out what they were. So wait. Don the Beachcomber Barry invented encryption? computer security? <laughs> no. Don Beach TGP? is different than Jeff Barry. So not Don the Beachcomber Barry. It was Don, Don Beachcomber, Beachcomber and then Jeff... Don the Beachcomber Jeff Beach Beachbum. <sighs> Beach, Beach, Jeff, Dawn's one's an, art, one's an author. I'm so confused. The other's I've seen one before. Because <laughs> yeah. the one's alive. The other one's, one's alive. Alright. Question of the day? Uh, He's not done. With all these Dawns and Beaches. And, oh, I thought well, you, if you done. Sorry. If you want to learn all the details and you don't want to listen to me come up with all the reasonings behind this, get Jeff Beach Bumberry's Remixed. Not the original book. Sip and Safari, I think it is, unless you want the original. But... 
the remixed it. version, no, it's upstairs, I'm okay. reading it, um, has all the recipes that he's documented, or that have been documented hmm. based on Don Beach. Okay. But you'll also find, if you just go to, I don't know, whatever, San Francisco place, the place you get sushi. Oh, yeah. Right? You go there and you get a zombie, if they have that. They will, probably. It's going to probably be, a, it's not going to be any of the four or six that you see. It'll be something that tastes or was inspired by the original, but, right, but nobody really had it. Else. They don't go through the work of figuring out what the original recipe is. And no, they find a, a recipe and that's the recipe. Right. Um... Shoutouts? Let's do some shoutouts. All right. Did we do these ones yet? No. Nope. Adrian? Yes, we did. Yes, we, did. Uh, we will start with... Hold that shiz. That one? You want to do it first? <clears throat> Shout out to Chris Wilkins of Alabama. Thank you for submitting the survey. And, uh, oh, you're from Alabama, so yeah. there's that. He likes his cocktail and spirit history. He does? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Kyle Wood! Kyle! From Illinois, we've met, we've, Kyle has won pretty much, yeah. not, what, 90% of the contests we've already put on here? Kyle makes good drinks. Yeah. Kyle makes good drinks. It's a rule In, Inspired point. drinks that are very creative. Uh, Ooh, Luca? Luca F Fabier from... Uh, oh, good, uh, yeah, I see where you got that. The funny character. Niederschassen. Germany. Germany, is that? Niedersachen. Uh, Niedersachen. Niedersachen. Hmm. Um, he speaks German, I don't. <laughs> very well. <laughs> How about you do the next one? Dave Jones from Kid... I can't speak UK. Kidderminster? Yeah, Kidderminster. Sounds German. You do not want to go to his locker. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dave Jones locker? Yeah. yeah. Bad. Uh, yeah, Leah bad. McPherson from South Yorkshire. And that's in the United Kingdom as in well. In the United Kingdom also. As it turns out. It's thanks not in you, New Jersey. Thanks for the United Kingdom representation. Uh, Peter Irera from New Jersey. Oh. He also has his own channel, Spirit Cocktails. You can go check him out on the YouTube. He was on your show. He's been, that's true, he's actually been a co yeah. on the show, so there's that. Yeah, for, for a week, I think. I, yep. I wasn't around that week. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Peter. <laughs> Federico Gazia, a.k.a. Junior. From Thanks, Dubai. Junior, from Washington. <laughs> and that's it? Yeah. We're good? We uh, did more um, than we needed. Question of the day. Question of the day. Well, you got one? We should yeah. also say that if you, want, if you love the show, if you watch the show, if you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash cmc. You can donate. Help Derek make more than 59 cents an hour doing this. <laughs> or we can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash donate and donate also there. While you're at everydaydrinkers.com, go to everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter and sign up for the newsletter. There Lots of typing. Out. Yeah, and you could, you could, all that could be done in five seconds. Of course, when you donate, you just add. You know what? If you just donate a dollar a month, I don't for it. That's that. Everybody, of all, if, if we could get 700 out of the 60,000 people to donate a dollar, to donate a month, dollar I'd be fine. Be I might actually amazing. be able to do this and survive. That would be crazy. Instead of trying to pay my mortgage. Uh, <laughs> recipe editor, the CFC WSKY for 50% off at Austin Drake. So if you want to get this mug, this mug is like $18.99 unless you buy five of them. So you want to save that 50%? You know how to do it now. It's that's not a, magic. That's a couple bucks. It is a couple bucks. About, about a couple bucks. About, about a couple bucks? About a couple bucks. Uh, that's probably, I guess we get. Between two and three. About 250. <laughs> about 250. About 250. <laughs> Um, other than that, I, I guess we, we, we've covered everything we need. Oh, no. Question today. What is the one thing you will never do again? Come on, Ian. What is it? Hmm. You know? What should I never do again? <laughs> you don't have to say anal. <laughs> Boy, anal. <laughs> I would say receiving anal. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> Only once. Only once. Uh -huh. That was in prison. It doesn't count in prison. Yeah, prison. That prison doesn't count because it's there's some things that just happen. It's not about sex. It's, no, it's, it's about survival. establishing alpha dominance. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> he's been in prison so many times. So many times. You jumped on a plane, didn't you? YouTube has I'd donated do on, on CMC page, too. I would rather not, like, get in a motorcycle accident again. Oh, you got in a motorcycle accident? That's not one. <laughs> you must. You have all your limbs. Hmm. Uh, Did you get road rash? A little bit. Really? Yeah. I have a hard time thinking it was, of something. It, it was a five mile an hour crash, though, but it fucked up my cup. <clears throat> I bet. So, I, yeah. I'll, I'll not do that. Your cup? My back up. Fuck my back uh, up. Uh, I heard say you were in a month. cup when you ride a motorcycle. That's pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let Ian splash me with a citrus again. Um, never. Would you never do oh, I got it. I know what it is. I would never go to U-Haul to have anything installed in my vehicle ever again. <laughs> would you have another kid? No. There you go. Um, That's a big one. 
No, but you know what? <laughs> Two it, if 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 it came down to having to go to U-Haul again, <laughs> or having another kid, or having go another to U-Haul, buddy. <laughs> um, well, it's Let's get ready for a baby shower. For the kid, <laughs> so it's more pleasurable than going to U-Haul. Yes, as a person who doesn't have to carry the kid for nine months and then spit it out. Not my problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it would be. Would you? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to say never have a kid again because I get to deal with her making those noises about the no- yelling. The noises. <laughs> you mean like the <laughs> no, noises? No, like, like the, the, like the yelling at me for having that happen. No. <laughs> you did this to you me! Did this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't want to. She'd be afraid of mustard and shit. Um, Only if you use it to defend yourself. (laughs) Shut up, woman! (laughs) That may explain a lot of things. Maybe. Um, So you couldn't come up with anything? Besides the the shower sex? Oh yeah, motorcycle sex. Shower sex? Is that what you just said? said. The prison. Oh. <laughs> yeah. sure. They're not gonna like, do it. In why the would hallway. you never have shower sex again? <laughs> oh, that go pick up that that bit bar of soap type of thing. I'm not, <laughs> I'll probably never buy a multifamily house again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. stick with that's a good one. It'd be a slumlord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll, slumlord. He'll never be a slumlord again. Fair, fair answers. Answer the question right below. Leave your text. Like the video. Subscribe and share. Do it now. And watch some other videos. That's right. Because we're sitting down Passion fruit is very sour in most cases, so it's always good to have. Oh, I love the smell. Of I like the color of this drink. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good nice. thing I didn't use uh, blue. Because it would have looked like every other blue drink. Oh, boring. Boring blue. That's a wide old fashioned.